Hi and welcome back to our channel. In today's video we're going to discuss how to publish forms to specific subsidiaries. Now there's two ways of doing this. The first of you have to understand that it's not possible to go to the form itself and then on that form decide to share the form to a specific subsidiary only. It's not going to work like this. So let's take primary work order build for example. Let's edit that form and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so right here, there is no way for you to set a subsidiary on the form itself. However, it is possible to assign a preferred uh, category to each role. So each employee has a role and each role can have this form as preferred, but it's not going to let the employee choose any other form they want within the list. So one way to do this is to go to the role itself of the user, the employee role, and once you're on the role, you go down to the forms sub list and then go to well the form that that requires to be shared. Let's say it's a transaction form, and you can disable the forms that should not be seen by this role. So anyone with this role will only be able to see, for example, uh, let's say not all of these, and only see the primary work order build, but nothing else. So you would use the role to be able to uh, determine what the, the person is supposed to see in terms of forms. Now, just to uh, remind you what the form is, it's the, the user interface into entering a transaction. So, for example, you could have a sales order form for subsidiary one and have a sales order form for subsidiary two. Uh, so you're not going to be able to... Uh, publish these forms by subsidiary, but you will be able to do it by role. Now, the second option is to use workflows. You can create a workflow by going to customization, workflows, workflows, new. And the workflow, uh, we already made a video on this, on how to create a workflow, but it will allow you to decide and to set a specific form based on the subsidiary of the user that's creating the transaction or the, the customer, the contact. So you could use workflows. We believe that workflows will be uh, a bit more complex to manage. So we recommend going the cheaper way, which is using the roles. Uh, but however, it is a second option, so it's up to you to decide. In any case, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.